welcome to Ignite Phoenix 13. Thank you. I'm Auden Hughes, part of the team that helps bring you this fantastic event. By round of applause, how many of you are here for the very first time? All right, let me give you the scoop. You are about to see 18 very different people get up on this stage. They each have five minutes and 20 slides to share with you their story, their passion. But there's one little catch. Those slides, they auto advance every 15 seconds. These presenters, they were chosen from a pool of 101 amazing submissions. We could have easily filled multiple shows and our judges really had their work cut out for them. The result, well, you tell us. Here at Ignite, it is perfectly okay to put that phone on silent, jump on your social site of choice, and discuss the show. Note the handy hashtag. And afterwards, please stick around, chat up your favorite presenters. Tonight, I have a challenge for you. I want you to ignore any expectation you had of what tonight was going to be, and instead, I want you to flex that imagination, open your minds, and let all of the possibilities marinate. You know, as children, we view the world through our imagination. Clouds become dragons and boxes become rocket ships. There are monsters in your closet and all sorts of creatures lurk in your backyard. In our futures, they were no exception. No one here as a small child said, I want to work in a cubicle. <laughs> no, we were going to be rock stars and superheroes, pirates and ninjas, and we were certain we would have epic adventures. So what the hell happened? <laughs> All right, so maybe we grew up, and yeah, we had to acknowledge a few limitations in those plans, but we discarded a life rich with imagination, much like we discarded our toys. And for what? Is being a grown-up really that incompatible with imagination? I mean, by definition, it's the ability to be creative and resourceful and form new ideas and concepts beyond the tried and true. And life without that sounds kind of impossible to me. But at a pivotal point in this process, I was introduced to Ada Lovelace, a grown-up who defied convention and did some amazing things from designing flying machines to creating the first computer program in the 1800s. She pushed herself, her children, and those around her to embrace a philosophy of life centered in the belief that we can maintain that imaginative, expansive view of life while remaining grounded in reality. What could you create if you were open to everything? If you examine the world in front of you and go beyond what you can see, hear, and touch every day, and let all of the potential that is out there, along with your imagination, just run wild. Ada was also a challenger of judgment, saying that she was never really satisfied that she understood anything because she recognized that our comprehension at any given point in time is a mere fraction of all that there is to understand in life. And how often do we hear something interesting and feel that nudge to jump right in, only to squash it with words like, I'm too busy, or it's not practical, or it's just not me, when there are so many more things out there to be and learn and discover if we only let them happen to us. Ada's daughter once asked her, what makes a wise man so wise? And her response was simple. A wise man never stops asking why, for how could we possibly grow if we don't take that first step to question? Ponder that for a moment and think of all of the beliefs that we hold so strongly, just like security blankets. What other ideas are out there that could expand or smash those beliefs if only we let go of the need for certainty? The presenters that are about to get on this stage deserve nothing less than an audience of creative and open wise men and women. But I want you to do this for you. Tonight, discover something new, imagine all of the possibilities, and don't be afraid to question your own ideas with a why. We rave that you all are the very best audience any speaker could ever get in front of. So show these folks some love. Cheer them on, support them, and respect their ideas. This is so not easy. Before I go, I want to take a moment to thank everyone who made tonight possible. Our 18 brave presenters, our dedicated team of volunteers, our generous sponsors, and every single one of you. Thank you. All right. Now if you'll do me the honor of keeping that cheering going, I'll go get the first presenter and we'll start the show. Thank you.